If you're a website developer or you like to tweak your website like I do, well, there's a WordPress plugin that's called the WP Reset that's going to help you reset certain areas of your WordPress site. You got extra tools and you have the option to take snapshots with this plugin. So let me show you what I'm talking about. What's up, everyone? This is WP Reset and it's already installed here on my demo site. Now you're going to get a bunch of tools included in this WordPress plugin. If you grab the pro versions, you'll get access to option reset, site reset and nuclear reset. If you want to check out the free version, you'll get access to site reset, which is limited, but it gets the job done in case you just need to reset a site and do testing all over again. But in this case, with the pro version, we get access to tools, snapshots, collections, settings, debug, even support for emergency recovery script with this plugin. So this one is the pro version. And right now you can grab it for a lifetime deal and you get access to five sites with this lifetime deal, which is $49. Now be aware that you can remove a site and add another one to clean that spot and use it on a different site. So on tier one, which is $49, you get five sites. You get access to five WPR cloud site licenses and white labeling branding removal. So in case you want to install this in the client site and remove WP reset from the branding, you can do that with this option. And if you're looking for more sites and the access to remote action and remote stats, it's available on tier two, three, and you get full rebranding on tier three. All right. So do consider those and you will get access to all the features that are included, as I mentioned before, on the tools, snapshots, collections, and the emergency recovery will be included on that pro version. Now, before I show you how this works, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They provide share hosting plans that are really affordable and you can install your WordPress sites and use the WP Reset. So let me show you, if you go to hosting, web hosting, you'll be able to find their share hosting plans that are really affordable. If you check out this one, which is $3.99 a month and you choose this plan, I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code to bring the price even lower. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price, the lowest renewal price, and you'll be good to go for 48 months. Now, this is the current total, but if you click on have a coupon code and you paste my coupon or you type it in, which is SaaS master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172 and that's for 48 months, so four years. So it's really affordable, right? So do consider using my coupon code. Okay, so WP Reset, you get access to three main tools, which is the reset aspect alongside with all these other tools. Now, options resets is an option to reset certain sections of your website, like the settings, widgets, themes, etc. But it won't touch your posts, your products and things that you create with this option to reset. So it's a really great option for a light reset per se. And you also have the option to reactivate the current theme and reactivate for current active plugins. Be aware that this will reactivate active plugins. If they are, if they are deactivated, they will be new too. All right. So do consider that. And you can do a reset option with that, right? Then there's the site reset where it now it deletes posts, blog posts, settings, products, etc. It's going to do a clean site. Be aware and be really careful if you use the setting. I mean, it's a great option if you're doing videos like me where I need to reset the site to start doing testing with other plugins, etc. And it's a great option. And I have the option to reactivate the theme. This plugin, which is WP Reset, I'll have it back again here ready to use, which is what I use when I do my website testing. And you can reactivate all current active plugins. With this, you'll type in reset and then reset sign. So they want to be careful that you don't make a mistake and reset it. And then you have your nuclear site which is just going to nuke everything is going to be a really clean stripped down version of your WordPress site. That is a great option if you just want to go ahead and nuke it. Right. And yes, you have the option to reactivate WP theme. WP, and yes, you do have the option to reactivate WP reset plugin when you do this. And again, you want to make sure be really careful when you use this one. Right. And there's tools. There's a bunch of tools available here. Not not all of them are useful, but you'll have them here. For example, you have a reset theme options, which will reset the options for the theme, which could be useful in some cases. You got delete transcends, purge cache, which you would have in a cache plugin, but you have it available here. Now, like as I mentioned, some of these are interesting, some are not. Delete local data, which could be useful. Reset user roles. I wouldn't recommend that, but you have the option there. You can delete content straight from here, so you don't have to you don't have to remove plugins. You don't have to do a reset on the themes, etc. You could just do it from here if you want to get rid of these sections. So if I want to get rid of pages, I'll delete the content here. If I want to remove other aspects like taxonomies, taxonomies, I can do so from here. I think that's a really useful option there, right? You can delete widgets from here. Um, you can do it from the options of appearance, but you have the option to do it there. You can delete themes, delete plugins, 
uh, you can go through these i mean some of these will be interesting some of them won't all right they're just available there you can switch wp version this is super useful especially when you want to use beta versions it's available here and you can start testing your plugins and making sure your site if you have a clone of a live site then it's a great option to use this one to test if it's working fine over there and now you can also delete the act access available here right then you have your not snapshots i think this is a really important feature here on wp reset which will take a snapshot of your database and options and settings with this in case you need to restore your site for a certain reason because you broke something this is a great option so you have snapshots and you can create a snapshot manually by just clicking on this here i just say test test create the snapshot and it's going to do it for me right now now another cool feature about this is that if i do some changes add a plugin make some modifications i can actually go to actions i can restore but i can do a compare snapshot to current data so this was done before and then i installed a plugin so now it's telling me that there's no been there hasn't been changes on this green area okay everything's fine on this yellowish area there's been some changes so now there's five rows instead of four and i can do a comparison of what's going on and over here here's a whole different thing like wp Re redirects is available now and there isn't a previous information for that because that's the plugin i installed to make some few changes just for testing purposes and if i need to restore it i can do it from here and i can also import snapshots and I can also create automatic snapshots by going into the settings. There's also collections. So again, if you're a developer and you're always installing the same five plugins, etc., and themes, you can create a collection here, upload them and have them ready to restore it with this collection, which is going to save you a lot of time. Then you have your settings for this. You got your settings to automatically create snapshots before running WP recent tools. And you have a lot of options to automatically create snapshots. So if you update a plugin, it'll create a snapshot before the plugin is activated that's when it's going that's when it's going to create the snapshot which is a super useful feature because if the site breaks due to that plugin you know you have a current snapshot before it updated you have several options available here for the automatic backups for the snapshots all right and then you have your debug debug information and support you can also have an emergency recovery script so in case your site breaks you can't log in you can't do anything with your site you can enable the recovery scripts, which is going to create the script that you have to save the link and the password. That means that I'm going to save this link and this password somewhere safe in case I need to recover my site. That means that I'm not able to log into my site. I'm not able to go into the site. I can't access the admin section, etc. It's a white screen. Everything's gone. You use this link with that password and you're able to recover and use a snapshot. So do make sure that you have snapshots available to recover in case you need to do that i'll make an independent video with a test of me uh, removing some things and making this work so you see how it actually works now if i want to reset this site which i'm going to do right here for you i'll do a site reset and i'll reactivate what i'm using right now i'll actually do a clean site i'm going to reset it and i'll show you how this is going to work because maybe i'm going to delete everything because something went south or maybe i'm done testing and i need to start over and boom it's done let's go into plugins here we go wp reset is available there and everything's off and everything is clean let's go to post nothing in post but the original post pages only the same pages that were available in the beginning where there's a new install and that's how easy it is if i go to wp reset that is activated because i set it to reactivate in this section but that's wp reset i think it's a fantastic tool if you're a developer or you're tweaking sites i mean if you meet your a semi-developer like me and i'm always updating my site and making changes making some modifications on the files then this is a lifesaver plugin that you want to check out the link will be provided in the description in case you guys want to check it out and don't forget to use my coupon code if you plan to grab your shuttle's implant at hosting your app that's a wrap for wp reset